Okay. Yeah. It's a uh, rise right. singer national anthem. Dice game. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars It's Luke. Luke's outside. Uh, you want to go get Luke, Carl? Carl's going to go get Luke. We're starting the show once again, once a day, every day. Turn on the machines. And then we start talking. We're going to be here for an hour. And uh, Carl, you agree with that? The, the hour thing? He does. He's going to go get Luke, and then we're going to say things to each other and to the viewers and think about things and thoughts and ideas. Again. You know, it's uh, Sunday today, and for us, it's the the first day of daylight savings time, and I'm already slightly confused about it. Uh, Carl, how are you feeling about, uh, whoa, what is that? <laughs> you, don't like, you don't like daylight savings time? He doesn't. He, Carl disagrees with daylight savings time. I disagree with daylight savings time. I think it's a farce or a travesty or a tragedy or a um, problem and and uh, i'm confused as to what time it is it's supposed to be like late yeah yeah you know it's supposed to be like late but it's not late um, yeah uh, but it is it's like later is it later than normal hello you're, staff you're the staff huh of can, something can you hand me that bag my bag backpack there yeah while you're over there um please thank you did you, uh, how do you feel about daylight savings time, Carl? Um, well, I got an extra hour of doing things on my phone, <laughs> yeah. I guess. Was that a good hour? Was yeah, it was productive. Another wasted hour of life. Well, I wouldn't call it waste. I would call it productive, but whatever. And what what did you do? Um... Level up characters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was important. And productive. It's that's important. Here you go. What? If you're like uh, my apartment mate, uh, she spends a lot of time leveling up her characters for sure. <laughs> playing the game. <laughs> yeah, that's just like uh, glued to the goddamn TV out in the living room, playing uh, all kinds of games and shit. Yeah. Well, well, you should damn God. Well, why not? No, God's <laughs> doing the damning. <laughs> I can, I got, I got damning powers too. I guess. God, no, God does the damning. He's like, God, damn this. You're like, please, like, you're asking God to damn a thing. God damn it. God damn this thing. Okay. I um, mean, we yeah. can expect more people. I think Freddie and uh, Ian, maybe, and hmm. um, maybe Bennett, and uh, it's a request to our. Uh, from you to God to damn the thing that you don't like. But, oh, uh, you, you mean draw, drawing club? Uh, or uh, did, no, did, that one, half mic. Did you see them at drawing club or not? Or what? what are, I totally saw them. Uh huh. I heard them. You were drawing th stuff? Yeah, yeah. Cool. 
from memory? Yeah. We did some draw shit. Drawing from memory? Nope. Just uh, from imagination. What do you think about Daylight Savings Time? I don't like it. What time is I it think, right now? I, I, I Honestly, I don't like it either, but I, I mean... I think you guys don't like it. I'm confused about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused about what time it is right now. Like, is it is it nine or ten or it's eight? It's supposed to be eight thirty, but it's like feels like it's supposed to be nine thirty, where it's supposed to be seven thirty. It's so dark. It was at five o'clock. It was dark outside, which I like the darkness. I like this half of daylight savings time better than the other half of daylight savings time. Okay. So, but this is a real time. You you mean the lit David daylight savings time? Um, you, you like it after it's dusk. I like I like this this period of daylight savings time when we, whatever we're doing, falling forward or back or whatever. But when we switch over, that's the time I don't like. But I wish we could stay in this time forever, which is real time, and every other time is like a lie. And then eventually, I try to like live the lie. I mean, I try to not live the lie for as long as I can, but eventually, it takes over. You can only deny. Reality for so long. Um, yeah. I try to deny reality for as long as I can when it flips over to the other time. And I say, no, it's still this time. But now we're back into reality. But I've been uh, immersed in the false reality for a good three or four months or whatever, how long it is. And now it's real. And I'm like, oh, yeah, well, this is what's real. And the other time is a lie. And uh, I don't like the. I, the I think it's actually um, seven or eight months that we have uh, standard time, then we have daylight savings time. Wait, which one? Which one's standard time? This one or the other one? The other one. The other one because it, it occupies more months out of the year. Oh, uh, this one should be the standard one. I think. Well. What time is it like? Ar okay. Which one doesn't do it? Arizona? Yeah, something like that. Arizona or whatever. So which time are they on? Our time or the other time? The other time. All right. How are you? How are you, Carl? How are you doing today? I'm okay. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, I'll kind of, I had a mental fart that. <laughs> what? I'll, I'll, uh, I'll explain what, why I say that, you know, in a little bit, but, you, you know. Why not I, now? Well, because it's not the proper you have, time. You have a lead-in? I, I have yeah. a lead-in. Oh, okay. Carl's and busy explaining something else. <laughs> So I was like uh, doing this crap on my phone, and then I realized, oh my God, wait! Want some bread? No, I'm actually late. Bread? Oh my shit! No, I'm, I'm actually turn late. This bread into shit. You want Carl, some? Carl, you're late. No, I'm I'm fine. Carl, you're late. You're late, Carl. After you know, doing something on the phone for what like were you an late hour. For? Um, service. Church? Unitarian church, mm. congregation, whatever people. You sat on your phone instead of going to church? Oh, you're, you might cut out. The battery is, is dying. You need to come back, I think, on the couch because. It's kind of no lights. It's awkward. The couch has arms still. Well, you can get a mic over there, I guess. Or find a battery. It's no legs, but arms. Um. Well, this is the awkward mic. Can I trade, Luke? Carl doesn't like that mic because it's um, not shaping correctly. It got a dent in it. It's, it's got um, shaping. Hi. Hi. Yeah. It can go with the bread. You want this? I'm not. I'm not that you ravishing to have that dog. No, I'm eating a hot dog. And, and I'm bread. not that ravishing. Garlic bread and hot dogs. Um, what, well, what are you not ravishing? What are you talking about? The word hot? Yeah. I'm talking about hot dogs, Carl. I can't say the word hot without receiving you to start going into weird, like, uh, you, evil genie stuff. Do you hear about this evil genie thing, Luke? <laughs> no. <laughs> I decided. Well, you, you, let Kitty explain it to you. I decided what Carl's doing is this evil genie thing, because you know how there's, like, evil genies when you try to make a wish? You know? You know about this? Oh, God. No. What? You don't like this thing, Carl? <laughs> no. I, I, you, you even understand? It, it's it's going to be part of the charm of the program Do you understand now. what I'm talking about, though? Well, no, I don't think Carl... Are you asking Carl, me? Yes. Or are you, no, you, you can't still, ask you, me. You still don't understand? You, you're still in the middle of explaining this to Luke, so you can't interrupt. 
I, so, I can't get in the you middle. Know, you know how the, when there's evil Jesus. genies and you make a wish? And um, the genie will maybe sometimes, it's like monkey's paw. You know the monkey's paw story? When the wishes with the monkey's paw? You I know? might have at one time when I was a little kid. So you make your wish. Have you seen that movie Wishmaster? You make your wish, and then instead of the genie granting your wish, he grants the word wording of your wish in the worst possible way that is he can they can do, you know? So you Yeah, you, another you movie with that theme is Bedazzled. You say yeah, you say I wanna be um the richest person on the planet. Yeah, right, but in Bedazzled. Uh, it's, actually, it's the, uh, yeah, so that's that does Bedazzled. That. And then be what, what an happens? Excellent example. What happens when when you say you, you want to be the richest person and what is the genie going to do, you know? Elizabeth Hurley what do you, what do you did think? that movie Luke, so well. What would you say? I want to be you're the evil genie. I say I want to be the richest person in the world and then you say okay and then, and then what's the what's the outcome of the wish? Right, I got to make this uh, turn out really sucky for you, right? Yeah. So it's like, you're the richest person in the world, but it's in Monopoly money. It's in the Monopoly money, or <laughs> or everybody else has no money, and you have like a dollar, and it's all, ru the world is ruined, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's what Carl's kind of doing. Like you say, you, no. say, you say a phrase, and then Carl says the not what you're saying, and the worst way you can possibly interpret the phrase, that's how Carl tries to interpret it all the time. You know he's how he's doing that all the time? That's what I decided. He's like, okay. an, evil genie. It's like an evil genie thing. So now I have a phrase. Because he's been doing it for years. He's been doing this evil genie thing. Right? I've never had a word before. But you before. confused me by not using the actual word genie. You said evil genius. No, genie. I've been saying genie this whole time. No, no, no. I've been hearing an evil uh, genius. I think you're hearing wrong. Uh, I'm an evil genius, of course, yeah, because I got a bald head. I'm almost like uh, yeah, yeah, Lex I mean, Luthor. It is like he's doing evil genius stuff on me because he's understanding what I'm saying and then saying the worst the possible thing he can turn, interpret and then pretending like he's not knowing what's going on. So it is, well, it's, a, it's a genius, but it's evil genius too. So, <laughs> But it's happening. And now I don't even know what I was talking about anymore. Well, before. actually, I was talking Listen, to you Carl about what I saw on the street. Oh, yeah, Carl was telling about the church or something. So Yeah, well, I, I was late for it or whatever, but... Um, um, no, I, I guess I connected with the, the people uh, there at the congregation. Anyway. Did you ever get disconnected from them? Are you stuck on them now that you're connected to them? Uh, ah, evil uh, genie stuff, evil genie talk. Uh, um, yeah, but well, I've been disconnected with Arts Walk and yeah. whatnot. But but uh, what happens? Are you you? Uh, I actually so like Mandy asked me to do this kind of like. Everyone on the program, I think, would remember Mandy from a couple of years ago. Yeah, you or, saw her? No, not at, not recently, but I remember when she asked me, you know, that, hey, do you want to do this uh, little um, design project for um, us or whatever? And I was like, yeah, sure. Uh, us. I, I'll do that little design thing or whatever. And... Um, I don't know. I, life happened. Um, I I managed to uh, I guess for, forget about that or forget about the times that, you know to meet up um, Mandy or her support group or whatever um, across. I, I remember it being across the street from um, um, on Lily Road from the uh, hospital. Yeah. You know, there's a. Uh, County Health Department or whatever, they're on Lily Road. But anyway, um, this person that um, I, I I I will see um, uh, every week at church. You know, she's uh, pretty. Um, she's there pretty pretty regularly, and uh, she has my email address and my phone number, and so she's gonna probably um, hound me to uh, not forget about this obligation or whatever of uh, this design project. So, you know, it was kind of helpful. And, what is it for church? Um, yeah, it's for uh, some sort of Unitarian thing. So, uh, kind of looking forward to that to uh, uh, fill my time with uh, 
doing something for other people. What are you designing? Um, some sort of brochure or pamphlet or, or something. I don't know exactly what it was. Um, About what? Well, that's the point. I don't know. Oh. But um, uh, but if I'm, it's something that you disagree with, that you've already agreed to do the pamphlet, what if it's something you don't like? What? I don't disagree with any of the precepts of the Unitarian Church. You know, it's like... That's good. That's that's. I think that's part of being in a church. You have to agree with them. Well, yeah. That's why I don't want to go... Um, well, you're free not to go. I you're you're free to do I, whatever. Because we have this thing of separation between church and state, but I'm still waiting for that separation between um, state and uh, media. And that may, may or may not come. Who knows? I but, like the separation of church and Luke. Yeah. So um, wait, wait, wait. Well, th- then I, I went to board games, and, and uh, uh, I won at... Um, Parkazone? Let, let's see. No, Fruit it Ninja? wasn't. No. Um, yeah, it was... Uh, Strategico? Ticket to Ride. And then uh, I got, you know, my ass handed to me and, and a number of other people. It was like a five-player game of Hacienda. I was kind of playing Little League, and this guy was doing professional sports and he w- n- really knew what he was doing he knew some tricks, and some it, was, it was awesome that he was able to win so spectacularly when you, when you're late over to, me when you're late to church do you walk in the middle of service well no oh i i uh they have uh, a foyer or whatever with chairs um outside the entrance foyer Okay, yeah. if I I'm, since he, he you're a little whatever. bit more French than oh, yeah, I, am, yeah. I don't All know, right. but I I I sit there, but I can hear you know the service just fine. Uh huh. Oh, so when you're late, you don't walk in there. You don't want to disturb. No. You wait in the foyer. Yeah. So I I you know it's kind of like, like right by the entrance, and people can walk in front of you, but you know it's not the fact that people walk in front of you. You you know. And the, the, there could be noise going on within, you know, the foyer as well. But um, if you're really attuned to, to what, what's going on within the sanctuary, um, you know, that that's, you know, good. But so I was in the sanctuary with the second service and it was interesting um, uh, for me to be there. Uh, uh, got some... Um, good stuff from it. Uh, that I, uh, I I remember that it was like a service that I needed to record on my phone, and so I recorded on my phone. And now that I recorded on my phone, I don't n- know exactly what was being talked about because I guess now that I have it on my phone, I don't need to remember anything about it, which is unfortunate but true. Oh, now we got Freddy. Hey, Freddy. Hey, Freddie and Steve. Um, but I, I solved that mystery, that I'm mystery sure. of uh, why, um, why, uh, why do I visit uh, Fred Meyer a lot? Oh yeah, I was I don't know about this mystery. Where's the um? Do, you, do we have any batteries? That one is dead. Um, dead or deader than dead. It's exploded dead. Um, it's it's. There's one in my in my. Oh, where's meh. where's the um that that case of batteries? I wonder if any of those are working though. Um, <laughs> so yeah, wow. what's the what's the mystery answer, for, uh, Carl? Oh, it's working. What's the mystery answer, Carl? So the mystery answer is that sometimes I would really like to take um a left hand turn. For free? Or I mean a right hand turn rather than the left hand turn that I would want to flow against with the traffic than, you know, uh, cross two competing lanes of traffic in order to go in an opposite direction. And so when I come out of the board game store, uh, I would normally just turn right, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. And then I would uh, find myself at Fred Meyer. Oh, and <laughs> like so tra- traffic like flows you. Right yeah. in front of the store, and then you're like, hey, look, it's the store. Yeah, I need food, so, oh, that is, that oh is, gosh. That is a good answer to that mystery. <laughs> I, I was like, gonna be like I, what I, is the answer? I, I really hate being in people's way, so. I, 
Yeah, I was like, why why do you go to Fred Meyer? There's so many stores to go to, and not that I have anything against Fred Meyer, but it's kind of in a weird spot. Yeah, but I, I really hate being in people's way, so if people want to, you know, take a, a left, It's not just can. being in people's way when you're trying to turn left. It's like you have to wait for everybody else. It's like they're in your way. Yeah. Well, yeah. no, right, but uh, if left. I don't take a left, if I take a right, then, you know, other people are free to take their left if they want to and have... Like, uh, you know, every from everyone from Thurston County or at least the board game store wanting to um, go east. And so I would rather want to go west. Yeah. Yeah. That's, it's a hard place to go. In, in the left turn, you always have to wait for the other traffic. I guess it's pot- yeah. potentially if you had to wait for you could always wait forever because there's never actually a time that's like dedicated to left turners unless there's a signal. And sometimes I think right in that spot there's not a dedicated left turn signal place well well there is about you know 90 feet or whatever into fred meyer but um yeah i i think pacific avenue is way too busy um somehow it probably needs to be toned down somehow but you want i'm not a city manager i don't want some bread i don't have these decisions to make so i don't know if you want to <laughs> yeah. have a hot dog this is kind of weird nobody else wanted this <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the story with the hot dog? Where, where did it come from? I mean, it came from lunch. It's leftovers from lunch. And it's just a. I'm eating it with this bread, garlic bread. I'm not. Is it a tooth bite or is it a? Um, yeah, I've been eating it with my teeth, but you. It's you probably want, fine. You want the rest of it? I already ate a lot of it. A whole one? Uh, I'll have like half of it. Um, yeah, oh, okay. go on, Freddie. Your lo- your mic is loud. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Luke. I think Com- it's okay. Com- no. Compared to the rest of us. Oh no, it's it's not. Is it loud to you? I don't know. It's not that loud to me. You can mess with the. You're you're at max volume. I guess uh, I'm gonna go for this. Let's see how this goes together. So you take, do you take a bite of the yeah. bread first? Because you know how you could eat, <laughs> <laughs> you could eat like a hot dog like with a bun. But uh, I don't have a bun. I just have like this bread that's not shaped in the bun shape. So what I'm doing is taking a bite of one thing and then taking a bite of the other thing, and then you make a hot dog <laughs> in your mouth. It's like a mouth sandwich. Right. <laughs> right. You know, you don't. Then that way you don't have to. Um, it's like what McDonald's used to do with the. You don't need to slice the bread halfway. You have to put it together. Yourself. They did. I never heard about. When was that in the eighties or? Yeah, and you can put it together yourself. So you're putting together your, your sandwich yourself in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, you know, you, where you they had the? You can eat. Yeah. Did they? The, the, I remember something about that where they had the lettuce and tomato in in one side of the tray. And the yeah, that's it. Hot dog. Really? The hamburger bun. Yeah. Yep. Yep. The hamburger bun and. Did the they put the whole thing together patty. yourself? Yeah. yeah, you 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 had to put it together yourself for some odd reason, but well, it makes some sense though because then you don't want to like if you wait and get mushy or something. So they stopped doing that. McDonald's stopped. No, doing they yeah, it? they just put it together. It makes more sense to me now because I think most of the time when you're getting it, you want to just shove it in your face. Like they're gonna basically like they hand it to you and you just go thank you. Right, ah. they must have been I'm gonna eat that at the nearest stoplight. Like as soon as I get red light. I'm <laughs> Whatever they yeah. gave me. <laughs> so it's like it's not like you have to wait. So I think that makes more sense if people were waiting, and maybe back in the that time people people back had in the eighties they were just going there to buy the stuff and bring it back to the office for lunch. Yeah, or to their their families or something. Now people yeah. are just eating it in the car. They had more time back then. Yep. Oh, the eighties. They were so recreational. <laughs> what was that, Carl? Smart food? Yeah. So I kind of. Uh, What's this had black and white camera? It's black and white I think now. It, I think the batteries are going on it. And yeah. we don't have any so backup. So when it runs low, it, it drops the color. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, I, I told myself that I'm going to enjoy uh, Tuesday no matter what happens. You said, Carl? Yeah. I'm going to enjoy this Tuesday no matter yes. what happens. Yes. Yes. So if, if uh, I start seeing um, mushroom clouds in, on the horizon, it'll be okay because I'm eating popcorn at the same time. Yeah. Is that how popcorn works? Yeah. Well, that's yeah, that's how popcorn works. You're at a movie theater and you're eating popcorn and you're able to enjoy the movie because you have the popcorn. Oh, yeah. Even if horrible things are happening. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Even if it's a horrible movie, In you're a, like, hmm, this popcorn is good. I like the movie. <laughs> that's horrible six movie seconds or to live. If, uh, if, it, if the movie is not so <laughs> but horrible, I got popcorn. but horrible things are happening in the movie, like the mushroom clouds and the destruction well, and stuff, yeah. and then you, yeah, but, oh, you eat the popcorn. It's it's still fine, I think. Some people stress. I eat. don't know. They stress eat, and so when they start getting stressed out, and then they start eating. Yeah. Uh, I wonder what happens with popcorn, and you have a traumatic 
movie experience, you associate it with the popcorn smell. But then, usually popcorn is eaten during all movies, so yeah. maybe you see a movie that you have a positive association with, but then these associations just keep building. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then popcorn represents, like, the full rainbow of emotions. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, whoa. Really <laughs> popcorn always makes me feel ill. And, like, in the beginning of the movie, I'm eating the popcorn, but, like, uh, maybe by the end of the movie, I'm always feeling slightly ill. So mm -hmm. I don't know if that's, like, good for the movie experience either. Oh, that, whoa. <laughs> like, well, and I'll associate every movie at the end with nausea. Like, this movie was really good in the beginning, but the other movie I it made me feel <laughs> sick. Plus <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the, like, giant liters of pop that you had to drink. So, I mean, it's really, <laughs> it's like a dangerous <laughs> gut combination for you. You have to. <laughs> yeah. I don't drink the soda, I guess. I just like water. Probably a good idea. Well, I I drink too much of it, but I think I'm used to it. So yeah, You've got soda. Some, you, got, you built up your tolerance. Everybody soda yeah. makes me feel I don't, bloated. I don't, I don't like it. It's maybe bloat, the carbon bloat, bloat. in it. Yeah. Hey, Steve, you, you you haven't been here in a long time. Well, I think I've usually been doing holidays, but I missed Halloween. Uh huh. So, so this is your Halloween time. Yeah, well, <laughs> what are you, what are you just are getting ready for Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, now we're moving into Thanksgiving. This is the season of holidays. I guess we're kind of doing Thanksgiving month, um, even though we did, we did scary month. No. I haven't voted Yeah. for the cream of the county. Oh, for the cream of the county? I thought you were talking about the well, for the president. <laughs> I'm going to do that tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow is like the <coughs> one of the final days to do it. Yeah, so the deadline is uh, Thursday? Tuesday. T Tuesday. All right. Oh, but can this you? Tuesday. But you have to mail in. You have to do it early, right? Mailing. Mail well, mail in votes. Yeah. It right oh, yeah, that thing went out now. Wow. It went out. We need more battery. It needs another battery. Yeah, there's there are drop box um, what's throughout the, with that the thing? county. The uh, the batteries are messed up. Where's the battery box? Of new batteries. Oh, here. Is there? Oh, are you already looking here? Does this work? Yeah, we didn't add anything to him in the last couple of days. Where's oh, I heard it. Oh, wait, that, I think it was going. This oh, one that, Oh, that one's working, yeah. Yeah. Um, This one is an XLR. No, that one's broken. This one is XLR. Maybe this one will work if we try to plug it in. Or no. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is working. It's actually really, really loud. Um, Blown out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where's the gain wait, on that it, thing? Is it working? Off and on. And now it's working. Off and on. Off oh, and good. On, wow. We, now that mic's a good one. We, I don't think we've ever used this one. <laughs> now we have a good mic. Um, it's a sure. So the Cream of the County Awards is something we do every year in December. And we start on September 19th. And I almost said 2010. But <laughs> September 19th. <laughs> Yeah, Carl, you, gets, you, you get it. You think that's funny? Yeah, you what get the hell? Joke. I think it's funny. That's a little bit oh, funny. Jesus. It's a very insider joke, uh, though. <laughs> but, but, uh, no, it is. It, every uh, well, info well, time, everyone knows that yeah. it's September 19, 2010. <laughs> Dude, I it's one of those jokes that all the marathoners <laughs> are laughing yeah. at. Too. I almost said 2010. But, uh, what's the best, uh, Sidewalk oh Square in Thurston God. County, Steve. Sidewalk Square? Yeah. Like square of sidewalk. Yeah, we can blame Lewis for this first quote one, which is uh, <laughs> something, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, there's a pretty good one out. There's one like kind of out the window. Out, out the, out your the daily studio window. window. Right. What's, so, window what's so great about that? What's what what what's uh, what's good what's about it? What's so it's great about that? What's what? What's what? What do you like about that sidewalk square? Um, I like that I could look at it if I wanted to get up. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's right available there. right now. Yeah, that's, that's a good reason for for things to be the best. Yeah, like it's available availability. It's close. Like I I I like McDonald's hamburgers, and I probably eat more of them than any other place. And maybe it makes them the best, even though they're not like maybe like quality wise, but they're just like overall. Availability and everything nearby, Qu quickness yeah. Nearby is like that all adds up to being the best. I, I think that's good. Yeah. How about best ice cream? Uh, I just had last night. I had. I just learned that vanilla beans are usually from Madagascar. Uh huh. So I had. I had Madagascar vanilla bean from. Um, uh, what's that awesome ice cream company that's local? No, it's it's like uh, uh. In, towards Shelton. 
uh, Tillamook? Uh, til- no, not Tillamook. Oh, come on. But Olympic. but the name Olympic includes? Mountain. Olympic. Olympic? Olympic. Mountain. Olympic Mountain Madagascar Vanilla. Yes. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good answer. Um, if if most <coughs> vanilla is from Madagascar. Right. What would be but they an still, exception? They still call it Madagascar. That's that's like the thing where they, where you advertise a thing that everybody has. Right. Like, yeah. Like like uh. Um, Olympia corn. Yeah, but or <laughs> but like it's like yellow corn. Yell- yeah. Yeah, and they're like this corn <laughs> is yellow, like and they're in the commercial and they're like buy our corn, it's yellow. yellow. What about champagne? Because champagne technically is like a place in sparkling France. white wine. Yeah. Is made in Champagne in France. And so, like, if they're, like, Champagne that's actually from Champagne, that's because people have, like, taken the word and made something else. Maybe, I don't know. That's a good point, though. Um, yeah. Yeah. What's the best street? Uh, uh, State Street, because it's right outside. Uh, that's a good one, too. It's I think available. The window. <laughs> State Street <laughs> is winning. I think they're going to win again. They won last year. Best Buffet. Oh, best buffet. Yeah. Um, what's the Indian place over there? Yeah, the Indian downtown whatever. That's yeah. what we have in Indian, the book. Indian downtown whatever buffet. <laughs> That's what the book says. Right I now. think it's best Indian cu- cuisine or Indian. I think it's Indian. Cuisine down- of India. I think it's Indian downtown whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it says that okay. right on the oh. right above yeah. the door, man. It says that. It's like best wah, India wah. cuisine food. Whatever. <laughs> But that's what I have written down here because I don't think anybody really knew the exact wording of it. Yeah. Because it's just like the Indian place. There's actually another one, Farmer's Market, too, but um, this one. Too. Yeah. Best judge. <laughs> uh, who's the current judge? Because um, <laughs> they're available. The, the, well, the ones that have people have voted for so far is um, me, Luke has one, and then Pass, Voyeur. The Voyeur Punk Kids, <laughs> um, and then Judge Walmack and Judge Whitman. Those are the ones that are people have voted for so far. I'll I'll just go Judge Kenny. Oh, okay. Because you're, cause I'm you're, available. you're the, most, the closest, <laughs> yeah. closest judge it's like, on hand. Be, maybe we should change the name of the of the thing to closest to Steve. <laughs> It's <laughs> the closest <laughs> Steve Award <laughs> <laughs> of Thurston County. <laughs> yeah, clo- <laughs> you're the closest to Steve. You get <laughs> uh, but then what do you give me? is it he himself the closest to himself though? Like hmm. it's like clo- closest like but not <laughs> <laughs> What what's the best Steve? In <laughs> like County? Best pie. Best pie. Um you know, the closest <laughs> is probably <laughs> over at the reef. Well, that's the cat. People so far have voted for Fred and the reef. Fred. Fred. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Not yeah, not Freddy. Best pie. Fred. Uh, How about uh, Steve's kitchen? <laughs> yeah, Steve, kitchen. Steve's pie. No. <laughs> well, you can you can pass pie. if you want. <clears throat> Wait. Uh. That's pie. Hello. Studio maintenance. Time to start. Right, pass. The floor. Best, best pizza. Pass. I don't want to answer the pizza pie question. It's pizza old school. We just went there. I really think that they're going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we, we should just like take their old award and cross it out the year and then just like write in the new year. No? <laughs> <laughs> when you invite them to the. Then it'll let's, make a, let's make them have to have. Like, because now they have. The two displayed from the past two years. Yeah, oh yeah. It'd be fun to have them have three (laughs) all displayed at the same time. It'd be like a pretty unique thing. Best tree. Best tree. Um, I really like the tree. There's a tree outside my house. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I really Hmm. like it. It's a corkscrew willow. Outside Steve's house, corkscrew willow. Yep. It's it's worth voting for. If you guys want to see it, I can... It. What's a corkscrew willow? What is it, that? It's is like it? a willow tree, but the leaves are kind of twisted in a spiral. Wow. Yep. I wonder if anybody else... It's hard to know which, which trees people are talking about because they're all kind of like huge <laughs> tree behind Waseku or I think or 
or outside the Eagles building. I don't know how we're going to do this one. No two – oh, actually, two people did vote for that one that you voted for, Freddie. It was you and Cedar voted for that big cedar tree between Waseku and the Department of Fish and Wildlife. That's or so <laughs> that one's in the lead. Best TV show. Uh <laughs> Well, the closest one to me yeah. <laughs> is your daily hour All with right. me. It's literally wow. right next to me. Best scientist. Actually, you're right under it or over it. In it. Best scientist. In best it. scientist. <laughs> um, best scientist. Cedar is a great, Cedar. great scientist. Hey. Best. Is he is he in Kirsten <laughs> County? No, it's down to Kirsten he and Cedar. Been. Ooh, who's gonna win? It's close. <laughs> it's close. <laughs> Best hair. Best hair. Uh, oh, dude, vote for yourself. That's uh, you great. Can, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Steve has pretty good hair. Carl. Oh, Carl. Carl? What? Yeah. Oh. oh, Carl, you're gonna win this year. Carl, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yay! Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Best yeah. dog. Best, best dog. dog. Yeah, have you not voted for this one? No, I haven't. Oh, uh, you can. The what's up dog. <laughs> the, oh, what, the hell, hell yeah, yeah dog? dog. Hell yeah. Charlie. Charlie, not what's up. Charlie. Well, yeah. Okay, that Charlie, counts. Charlie. I, that counts even though he's not here. But technically not him. Technically the like, dog on the, the video. Yeah, the one the that's image gonna pop up. There of. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hot dog, with Jake's, Jake's hot dog. Best uh, vape shop, <laughs> which is a kind of weird category. <laughs> You know, I really like that. <laughs> I really, <laughs> I really like that vape shop up on the west side. You know, the on the one corner of Harrison and Division. Yes. Yeah. What is that place called? I don't know. I don't either. Yeah, that's. They weird. they um, they like frosted their windows mm -hmm. a little bit so that it looks like it's super vaped out all the time. Right. And for a <laughs> while, I thought that it was. And I was like, oh, man, I can't believe that. How they, <laughs> how they it's that. How I noticed that frosting, and I wonder what the hell that was for. It's like, what are you trying to do? Like, give well, everybody the impression they're doing something sneaky in there? The well, the Volcano Vapor Lounge. Oh, wait, no, it's Phoenix. the Phoenix now yeah. down downstairs. They actually are vaped out all the time. It's like yeah. sometimes it's like that. It looks like it's frosted windows, but it's the it's real like, How deal. can you breathe? And I think that stuff actually sticks to the windows and, like, makes it hard to put oh, things up to them. So yeah. maybe the frosting is, I don't know, somewhere. No, they're, they, uh, the one on Harrison Division actually is frosted because I was, like, looked in there and I was like, what is what is happening in there? So I, I investigated. It seems more bit. fringe. Like, they don't they don't get as much action. Yeah. Best uh, coffee shop. The pass. I don't want to answer that. Best convenience store. Um, hmm. Uh, best convenience store. So that, what were some answers that people have said so far? Adams Market, Frog Pond, Harrison and Division Texaco. Those are the three so far. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to vote for the Frog Pond. All right. What do you think, Freddie? I don't think you voted for this one yet. I haven't voted for this one yet. Um, you know... I uh, it, this is a tough one for me. Last year I voted for Frog Pond too because I I really like the Frog Pond. I used to live over in South Capitol neighborhood, and that guy runs the nicest, best spot ever. He's got good selection. He's like super kind. He's even like a he's good. He's a really he's nice to all the customers. I think that um, I think I got to go with Frog Pond for sure. Yeah. Oh. That sign's been around for a while too. What do you think, Luke? Did you vote for this one? No, I didn't vote. For you that. want to? Yeah. I'll vote for Frog Pond too. Oh, es wow. especially, uh, um, mostly because of the sign. Yeah, they have a good sign. Because I like driving by and seeing the sign. It's what an it's a pleasant experience. This is a kind of a weird one. I think this is um, Elva's. He wanted to vote for best citrus fruit. A uh, lime. Lime, yeah. <laughs> did I vote for that on the phone with Elva? I think at the so. Same time? I probably did. I said orange. Orange, yeah. yeah he's going with orange. That's like the so you want to add a category, Steve? No, you, no, it's oh. time to add categories. Yeah, oh, interesting. Um, uh, yeah, the the closest thing to me category. Closest. <laughs> hmm. Closest thing to Steve. Yeah. We have to vote for that. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> like you have to vote. Um, <laughs> just like 
if for most of us who are going to vote on well, this, lots of we can't that, see, Steve, I mean, so we don't you know. Can think about it, though. There's <laughs> lots of things that are close to me right now. Right. This is like denim the, jackets. I'm, yep, denim jackets. This is like the, the very first... <laughs> Steve's like The very first time I did this, I was on the phone with Lewis, and I said, Lewis, what's the very first category? And he said, best sidewalk square. And I was like, oh, now I'm going to have to ask everybody from now on what the what best, best sidewalk, sidewalk square is. is. And I'm like forced, and now I'm going to have to everybody, th- uh, everybody <laughs> what they think the best, closest thing to Steve is. And they're like, who is Steve? Yeah. Like, well, he was some guy on the show one time, and then they vote for it. <laughs> and everybody's going to pass. But, but, you know. Unless they're in the mood to play, you know, I'm arbitrary voting. humor. I mean, the, the best, closest thing to Steve is obviously Steve. But That's I what I would I vote for. No, but I don't think Steve counts as being close to him because it is, it, it's him himself. No, no identity and relations oh. in this. And I'm, I'm going to vote for Freddie. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. All right, fair enough. A lot of, a lot of about compliments, Connor. <laughs> that's how I win the category. That's kind of what the uh, the award ceremony is for. It's uh, for arbitrary or over compliments. compliments. Yeah, or, a lot you of know, compliments. We're, 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 like we time because one time we didn't win an award. Remember, like uh, you know, three or yeah. four years ago, we didn't win an award. So I'm like, we'll have our own awards. Well, we win everything. <laughs> <laughs> so now we do get to win awards, and now we we have awards. If you don't win awards. Start your own awards. Yeah. And give yeah. them to yourself. Yeah. And give them to other people so it seems legitimate. Yeah. Yeah. W- it, this thing has become legitimate enough where people who win these things display them if they're like a, yeah. a vendor or whatnot. Mm-hmm. You know. Go around uh, town. You can see them. People to put them up. Yeah. Wait a minute. Isn't that what Christmas is for? Where That's you award something to yourself? That's right, Carl. That's the whole spirit of Christmas. <laughs> 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 That's awards. what Santa Claus was doing. Yourself. He was going around giving himself Christmas Awards all over the entire country. You see, because we're all one, right? We're all one with Santa Claus. All right, so. we, we, we got to vote for the best, <laughs> closest thing to Steve. Everybody else does not, too. His glasses. Glasses. I said denim jacket. Uh, Carl? Carpet. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see, we all uh, okay. Well, hey, let's it's all different. Yeah. Let's do all the stuff because we only have 15 minutes. So right. let's, let's Did you check my me- I left a message? I, I didn't do. We didn't do messages. We didn't do anything else so far. Oh, okay. I had another category, which was best jukebox. Oh yeah. All right. Let's add the. We're gonna add this ju- best jukebox, and then we're gonna do all the events in a bro. So right. Right. Let's do all of them. What, yeah. all, uh, even the dice. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. We'll play the first dice game, and then we'll do info time, and then. So quickly, Carl. So the best jukebox I think is. Um, oh yeah, I'm getting my number. Uh, I think I like probably. Um, I like the crypt. Oh yeah, that one's good. It's free. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna vote for the crypt too. All right, if everyone has Ooh, their we numbers. We can actually put that award on the jukebox. Ooh, yeah. that's a good idea. Um, Let's make them win it so we can. All do right, that. anybody? What do you think, Freddie? Well, um, if you listen to the message, you'll hear that I oh. voted for the Brotherhood because it's also free and it's got uh, some Hank Williams on there. Ooh, and a, and a little bit of other stuff that's pretty good too. What do you think, Luke? Um, I don't know. Let me go with the Crypt because it, it's got you know weird stuff on it. I like that the Crypt has like burned CDs. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. People put mixed CDs in here. Yeah. Shit? I also like that, like part of it's uh, Is there anyone typed with a typewriter or something. I think Dirty Dave's might have one that's Why is actual, it black and white? Is actually, it vinyl. I think it's the batteries are going or something. You think so? Is uh, it like an effect? I think it's an effect. Yeah, maybe. Freddie's gonna check it out. Everybody have the numbers? Um, yeah, I can vouch for myself. I have one. a number. All right, here we go. How oh, can it? Freddie. What was the color? It's what is it? Four. Four. Yes. Oh, Steve won. Right. I have a two. Who are you? Yeah. Why bad things happen to good people? Where is the love? Um, um, and if if Carl will now if a tree falls that. in the woods, does it really exist? Does anybody care? Well, congratulations, Steve. Uh, you're watching your daily hour with me. It's our long Harper Live Call and Television Talk Show that's recorded every day in Thurston County, seven days a week, 365 days a year, 366, 366 days on years. leap years. What each WM began on September 19th, 2010. 2010. Yeah. It tapes a weekend in advance. So if you're watching this program at 11:30 p.m., this episode taped on the same, same day of the previous week, week of the previous week. If you're watching this at 2 a.m., this episode taped on the same day, day of, of the month, month of the previous, of the previous year. year. 
can also watch any episode of the program on youtube.com. YouTube Anyone can come on the program, especially, especially you. you. We rely on the community for content, so give us a call at 360-836-434. Leave a message, we'll play your message on the next episode of the program, and we will call you back. By the way, don't forget, 440 Yager Way. On the first Fridays. Fun. On the first Fridays only. On the first Fridays only. Usually we're usually we're here, which is a, right. a different place. All right, next nice game. Different. Where's our, what's, what, 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 what's our address here? And I don't know. Uh, Bennett just came up with a great <laughs> idea for a certain uh, Cream of the County Award <laughs> category, which is we'll best jukebox yeah. in Thurston County. So I think uh, we're going to go ahead and get that, kick that off. And I'm going to cast my first vote there and say the Brotherhood has the best jukebox ah. in Thurston County. What do you think, Carl? Is there any vinyl jukeboxes? Should I say that? If I tell them that you guys say it, then it's going to have three posts, and then pretty much no one... I see Dairy Queen used to have a good one. But it 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 went away. All right, well, (laughs) both Bennett and Ian also vote for the Brotherhood as the best jukebox. So uh, that's a pretty solid lead right from the get-go. Let's see how that goes. Talk to you later. Just so you know, viewers, uh, in order to vote on a category, you actually have to call into the show and cast your vote live on the air. But leaving a voicemail message does work, although it, there's not like a comprehensive list of categories um, or voting zones. Are, are we still? I thought we were gonna roll the next dice game. Yeah. You can't find the ca- you can't oh, find the uh, I just had it. No, that's oh. the base. Here oh, it is. Right. Here it is. Awesome. I mean, I just had it, and then. Yeah. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where does the time go? Whoa! Pop. Careful. Close the weasel. Oh wow! Hi, Kenny. This is Mark. Whoa. Uh, I'm the- sorry I missed your call. I was real tired the other night. Don't be sorry. Uh, oh, it's doing something. I'll be, I'll be uh, making sure that I get your next call. <clears throat> uh, this is uh, November. Hopefully we can get something going. You yeah, know, do you want to go to Mark's place? Uh, three, three, four. And, and we can record and stuff. And, we gotta, and, uh, Mark wants us to go to his place. And stuff. Okay. Maybe so anyway, maybe Tuesday. Uh, give Tuesday? me a call. Tuesday is really bad. That's like uh, I work all day, and then I also have to do the uh, election coverage for TCTV. Oh right. yeah, maybe next week then, the week after maybe we'll have to figure it out. I don't think Mark does much. But so. Tuesdays are often a good day, so you know, like in the evening on Tuesdays might work. But this coming Tuesday, not a good day. All right. Well, we'll call here. We're gonna call Mark back and tell him. Was you watch commercial? Yeah, commercial. Not next week for Mark. Here it goes. Call him Mark. What? Oh, wait, I think we gotta rewind it. Is it rewind or is it? Yeah, rewind. Is that yesterday or today? This is a year ago today. This is uh, actually recently on the commercials you were talking about. Oh no, that was yesterday. That was oh, yesterday. Was, go, was, forward, okay. go forward. Go um, forward. A little bit. We were talking about not calling it. The commercial, but calling it the message from the past. Oh yeah, that's a good here idea. Here it is. Here it is. So here's a message from the past, from the sixth of November in 2015. Here we go. What happened? <gasps> wow. I thought this was on Wednesdays. I don't know. You know, it was a 30-day month. Last month was a 31-day month. Oh, it moved it. I don't know. I think it moved it. I don't know when it moves, but I just, this was the... Hey, st- Carl, look live. Look live, Carl. Come on. Come on. There's Graham. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this group. They're going to be there next <laughs> next month, too, right? Yeah. Carl's Andrew. waving. Well, now he's <laughs> waving. Andrew Ebright on drums right there. That's Skrill Meadow. They've been with us since uh, we first got our first commercials on the yeah. program. Way back when. Way back when. Long, nice long commercial. They'll be back uh, in December. Yay. It's going to be December 2nd. That's right. That's also when you're going to find out who is going to be the winner. I want to find the extended mix of the rock uh, theme. Do you know where that is? I bet we can find that. It's on the hard drive somewhere. 
Final dice game. Mark, answer your phone. Where are you? Ooh, Ocelot. Get Help. your uh, answering machine to do it. Cool. Yeah, where's Mark's answering machine? I'm pretty sure the only landline. Well, his mom might pick up the phone. Oh, oh. oh darn it. Uh, Darn it, Donald! Wake Donald! It. Wakey, wakey, Carl! Yeah, well, I don't know where Mark. Or, yeah, Mark's not answering the phone. He said he was sorry and he wanted to answer the phone and he didn't or something. You don't get to answer the phone today, Mark. Sorry. Okay. Oh, uh, we're all we're gonna tell him is no anyway. So maybe. Hey, Mark. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your daily hour with me, written inside the cup. No, that's clean. Can you hold your mic yeah, up to that? Question for you. What the fuck over? Oh, good question. Hey, Carl. You said I'm an asshole. That must make you the cancer. I got a two. Cancer. Stuck to the I asshole. have a three. What? <laughs> Looks like ones, ones two, and threes. threes. Ones and threes. Hey, yeah, yeah, I won. Yeah, good job, Kenny. Anybody else have a one? No. Nope. Nope. Or three? No. Nope. I won. Yay. Um, what was I going to say? I and don't if know. If you had a one oh. or three out there, viewers, did, you did won you, uh, too. Is there something? Did you make a tape, Freddy? Because uh, I changed all the wiring back when I got here. What? The wiring? Oh. Right? I forgot to switch the wiring back. Did, yes. Did, uh, what, what is it? Um, it's the commercial tape. Today was the last episode or the last commercial on the commercial tape. Uh -huh. So I made a new... Um, I made a new commercial tape, and it goes all the way till November Ooh, 1st. Great. No, no, December 1st. So we're Ooh. all the way clear to the first Friday of episode. Awesome. How's the production going? It's going okay, but it's not on YouTube. We're, we're a little slow on the YouTube just because I haven't been able to make it over to TCTV. Mm. To, I got the exported files ready. They just need to be uploaded. So we'll be Ooh. caught up by the middle of next week so Good. it should be it should be fine but you know we're we're keeping out on TV we're on at 11:30 p.m. every night and at 2 a.m. in the morning every single day and we haven't missed a day on that in a long time too so we're keeping the TV alive cool mr Gensu. um yeah well how are you it's a program we're on TV how you doing yeah what did you do earlier today what did i do earlier today yeah. I uh, I visited my grandmother. Oh, did you? Shit, I thought you went to work. No, I went. To, I visited my grandmother, and she made a hot dogs and <laughs> bread. <laughs> it was good. I had some of that. Actually, yeah. She knows how to cook a hot dog. It's delicious. Even though. Hell, you know, boil, she knows how to boil it. Yeah, I think it was. Um, I think she might actually bake them, which is odd. Uh. But it was good. It was pretty good. She just put it in the oven. Like, it doesn't really matter how you cook a hot dog. You can, like, right. pretty much microwave a hot dog and be pretty good. <laughs> yeah. No. No? Yes. Don't yes. say no. You don't, don't say no. <laughs> you, don't, you can say no. Carl, you can say yes or no. The important thing to do... The, the important thing to do is use your judgment and not say yes or no every time. And Because, like, I was saying, like... I was saying, oh, to be conclusive? I kept saying, like, people say yes too much. And then Carl's like, okay, I'm going to say no every single time. No, then, I think it's truth. It's a bit truth. Yeah, and then I said, like, and then I was like, Carl, why do you keep saying no all the time? He's like, well, you, you said what? that one time. And I was, I was like, use your judgment every time, Carl. You don't have to say yes or no every single time. Just every time you think well, of a thing. Don't use, you want a no program? No, I want an even program where it's, like, close to being even and some things you say yes to and some things you say no to. <laughs> Oh, I can't stand Kenny, this. Get with it. Get with the fucking program, Carl. Kenny like, is so picky about about judgments on, on the show. No, but he wasn't even using judgments. He was just saying yes no, to every single no, thing. For, no, for, for a while, anything, anything no. Anything makes me happy. For, for a while, no. you were saying yes no. to everything. For a while, you were saying no to everything, and I no. wanted to be in the middle. No, listen. No. Yes, you were. I just wanted to be in the middle, oh. like regular. I wanted to be like regular talk. Is that so what hard? Like, what about? I don't know. I'm not know. regular. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know is valid. Just different things. Not the just not the same thing every single time, just for no reason. Well, you have a soundboard. Are you saying? Are you trying to argue about saying no every single time with no reason? And you're like, no, no, it's a good idea to say no to everything every time, no matter what. Yeah. There's no argument. <laughs> every fucking time. There's no argument about that. Yeah. 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 We, we all have a few minutes left on the show, Mr. Ginsu, but what, what are you doing? I uh, smoke weed. Is this stuff you grew? Yep. How is it? 
It's stony, I guess. I've smoked more of it now. It's pretty stony, actually. It tastes like hell, but fucking... It does the job. Yeah. Maybe you should eat it if it tastes bad. I guess that doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> if it well, smokes eating bad. Different. Eating it's different than smoking it. Yeah. And I don't like... I don't like eating it. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. You don't have any control over fucking how high you get. Yeah. Other yeah. Than fucking... Um, just try to eat less, I guess, but then it seems like you don't even get stoned hardly. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. But once you really get stoned up and eating it, then you're really fucking high. Yeah. Well, that's an activity, I guess, to be doing. Are you just like, so you're just sitting there uh, smoking and then staring at the walls, or? No, I'm it's watching like a, TV. Oh, yeah, what's on TV? Uh, Passenger 57. What's hey, that? Mr. Gintu, you found there's actually public access uh, TV in Oregon. I mean, there's like a lot of public access TV in Oregon. Do you ever find the public access stations on TV there? Do you got cable? What do you got? It's a radio show. What's a oh, radio show? Like this pa- program. Passenger 57. I thought, really? No, oh. Passenger 57 is with Will C- with Wesley Snipes, I thought. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Uh, what's a radio program? No, always bet on black. Uh, it's, on, it's on TV. It just is a uh, fucking, it's like your show, except for it's, it's, yeah. it's a blank screen. It's a blank screen with the radio going, I guess. Wow. That's what public access is to you and down there? Yeah. Oh. That doesn't sound very good. It could be. It's just like a radio. It's like a radio show. Public access audio. Uh, I don't know. They talk about all sorts of bullshit. And, um, Is it good or bad bullshit? bullshit? Have you ever tried to call them? No. Uh, do they have a number to call? Even? <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it. Uh, okay. They might, but I, doubt, I don't really. We give should a call fuck. them. <laughs> I'm gonna call another she- uh, TV show. Oh man, we gotta call Let's Paint TV. They they go. Are they last. back? Oh. Yeah, they're still going. I get, I, I'm subscribed, and they uh, get updates from them sometimes. You should call Martha Stewart. Yeah, I would like to. How does that work? <laughs> uh, you get her, you get her, come over there and make you something grubbing to eat. <laughs> yeah, on the phone. Martha, I'm hungry. <laughs> Say, Mister Gucci yeah, wants to watch you make something grubbing to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Grubbin. <laughs> Grubbin. I don't think adding Mr. Ginsburg wants to watch you do this <laughs> yeah. is going to really help. Yeah. To get them to do it. Yep, yep. Mr. Ginsburg's impressed with how Martha Stewart does her bullshit, that's for sure. Hey, Martha Stewart, Mr. Ginsu wants to watch you make grubbins. <laughs> 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 you don't know me, but... Help, help, yeah. yourself, help yourself to the ingredients in the little mini fridge yeah. here. And <laughs> <laughs> Can you make anything out of Mountain Dew and some bacon? Mountain Dew, <laughs> hot dogs, Ooh. bacon, bread. Yum. <laughs> uh, coconut water, Cookie. regular water. Cracker crumbs on the floor. Ew. It's the end of the show. It's Ew. Over. Oh, there it is. That's the day. Look at that little bird. What is that thing? That's oh a, my kind goodness. of an ostrich. An emu or a... Egret. You all can right. go to YouTube.com. So that's why we have all the episodes... Up there. Three six four three six four three eight four. Adrian, Andy, Cedar, Chase, Christine, Christine Dale, Dan, 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 Liz, James, Jean, Kevin, Steve's Lucy, on the crew. <coughs> Mary, Mandy, Mom, Paul, Redbird, Roger, Steve, Sid, Spencer, Susanna, Susan, Susan, Taylor, Zilger, Zilger. Roger, Susanna. UFOFBI, thank you. Mr. Ginsu's on the crew. Yeah, PCTV, the baby, Jody, Fabulous, Graham, Graham, Sub the Pilot, Clown, John, Wesker, Thurston County, Washington State, USA, viewers only. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah, dog. Woof, woof. Bye. Later. Okay, take off hosers and eh? Bye. Coming up on the next episode of the program. Yep. You gotta be kidding me. We talked to Yellowfellow for a long time. He reads The Grinch. Yeah. Um, oh, a long you talked story. to Yellowfellow. I was wondering when the last time you talked to him was. It's been years. Did you tell him I said hi? Yeah. 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 It's been kind of. it's been years. Yeah, since. you fucking just lied to your teeth. I'm gonna kick you. Well, we listened to your message with him. Well, come on so, down. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll I'll stick my butt out for you. We're on every night, eleven thirty to a.m. on TV Channel Twenty Two. 
That's a weird. Yeah, that's weird. Well, the that'll Carl be kicked Peter in the in the hiney. That, that, I, I don't. Yeah, care. that one. Bye. Bye. Yeah.